Hey, what's up everybody? RJ back with another video. And uh, there's been a lot going on in wrestling this week. And uh, I want to apologize to everybody that was waiting on me to uh, make a video. Because I, uh, you know, I had a lot going on this week. For people that don't know, uh, beginning of this year I started a new career. And sometimes I work 60 hours a week. Sometimes a little bit more, maybe 65, 62 but an average of 52 to 60 hours a week. And just like the rest of you guys, it's hard to have time to do some of these other things that you love to do, including making these videos. But I try to make time as much as I can, and I will be making more videos, obviously. And some weeks I'll have a shit ton of videos, and other weeks I'll have just a few. But I, uh, well, basically I wanted to talk about, you know, obviously wrestling. A few things has happened this week. We got the whole uh, Bill DeMont uh, thing going on with the NXT rookies and how he's treating them like shit. Um, apparently, Hardcore Holly, uh, Bob Holly, you know, himself uh, commented on it on Twitter and Jericho has talked about it. And if it's true, uh, what's being said about Bill DeMont and NXT rookies, uh, we all have different ways of teaching people things, different techniques, but there's certain things you just don't do, you know. Uh, and until I know for sure if it's true or not, I really don't want to comment any more than that about it. But I do want to say if it is, then that's pretty uh, pretty messed up stuff. That's all I'm that's all I'm going to say right now about it. Once I know for sure what's going on, I'll have video probably focusing just on that. Um, anyways, if you guys could give this video a thumbs up and uh, if right down there, just thumbs up and just subscribe. It takes two seconds just to hit that subscription button, and it means a lot to me. It helps me a lot. It helps me keep these videos coming and get better and better equipment as I go along. If you go watch some of my old videos, I start off with a shitty uh, laptop camera. And I've moved on. i got multiple cameras now and uh, different software, which I usually don't have to use because I just pretty much shoot my videos just straight onto the, the camera right here. Um, but I do have the software. It's just finding the time and stuff to make videos like that. And those are going to be special occasion videos for the most part. Um... But what else is there going on this week? Uh, Brock Lesnar. Uh, people have been talking and talking and talking about the Brock Lesnar thing. Um, beating it like a dead horse. And to me, the way I look at it, Brock Lesnar will be at WrestleMania. I don't know if it's going to be a Lesnar-Goldberg scenario where everyone knows his ass is leaving the next night. His contract don't end until Monday Night Raw the night after, so he should be on Raw too. Um, obviously, unless that contract's signed, there's no doubt in my mind he's dropping a strap. It just sounds like it's going to be more to Seth Rollins maybe than Roman Reigns. Who knows? But uh, I think that he's going to drop the strap for sure. Uh, if I had to guess, it'd be two Roman Reigns and then Seth Rollins beats him or something. That way they have a feud going on. Something to build on after Lesnar's gone. And that's the scenario I believe is going to happen in my mind if Lesnar does indeed not resign. Um, from what I heard, obviously, Lesnar wanted a, a deal where he could fight in the UFC and still be in the WWE. Uh, they could not work something out. And as of right now, you know, there's a little, little tension between Vince and Lesnar, just like there was back in 2004. So we'll see how that turns out. But uh, CM Punk had his first scrimmage, his first actual fight, uh, his first practice fight, like, it, like they actually went all out. This week, and I heard he actually did pretty well. Um, he, his trainer said that he would have lost by uh, by the point system, but he did pretty well for his first scrimmage. You gotta think this guy's coming in to the MMA circuit code. I mean, this guy's never had a fight like this. Obviously, he has some martial arts background. Um, I'm personally hoping that he does really well in the UFC. I'm looking forward to having someone I actually because I personally care about you know cheering on in the UFC because um, for me it's hard to get into a lot of the fighters in the UFC only because of the fact that they fight such a you know such a small schedule like they're barely ever fighting that it's hard for me to really get behind people um, I like the sport I like watching the sport and uh, I like that it brings a little different flavor to the table but at the same time you know it's just like I said it's hard to get into to the sport only because of the fact that there are so many you know different fighters and they all fight at such a limited pace like Lesnar had like two fights a year at one point you know maybe even less than that um but he did really good in his fight uh he they said he lost in the point system but 
for his first scrimmage. He came in there, you know, all out. I'll put exactly what the trainer said in the description box for you guys, but that's that's progress. I mean, you, you can't expect the guy to go. And the guy he was scrimmaging against was 4-0. I mean, come on. Give him a break. I think that he did pretty decent uh, from what I read. Didn't see the video, but I did, I did read the article about what happened in the fight, and I will put the entire article in the description box. Thanks a lot for watching this video. More to come. Stay tuned.